I'm gonna give you a big brain tattoo right now. It is bring everything up to your standard. Don't bring your standard down to your current standard of living. Bring your current standard of living up to the way you wanna live. Standard is gonna change your life. Standard always wins. What is your standard? I want you to think about it. And we want you to make your future your magnificent obsession. You know, I used to have such an interesting relationship with the word obsession. And then I read this great book called The Magnificent Obsession. And when you go and study this, the only obsessions that are bad obsessions are bad, things that are not good for you. Now, when I say make your future your magnificent obsession, create this amazing vision of your future. I want you to think, how do I really want to live? How do you really want to live? And I want you to lean into that. Now, when we talk about goals, which we're gonna get into later today, goals are your vision of the future. Now, fall in love with the future. I want you to design your life masterpiece. Well, how do you do that? You get out a piece of paper and you write everything in the present tense like it's happening right now. And you sit there and you get very neutral. You don't, sit, you don't write your vision based on how you're living right now. It's how do I really wanna live? I am so happy and grateful now that I'm living a life of freedom doing what I love and loving what I'm doing. I have an, an unbelievable life. I am really creating my masterpiece every day. I have turned my annual income into my monthly income. I have a massive standard. I have a great life philosophy. I am extremely disciplined and everything I touch turns to gold. I am living the way I wanna live. You just let yourself go. See, most people have fears of the future. I want you to ask yourself, am I afraid of the future? Or am I leaning in so fired up because I've got this magnificent obsession that I created that I'm focused on? Like, I'll, I'll ask you this right now. Like, did you wake up today so excited about what you were creating today? Well, as you build and design your life masterpiece by your vision, you're gonna sprint to the future. And that's what we at Voss Coaching Co. wanna teach you how to do. If you're fearful of the future, you will be freezing all the time. You're gonna be losing out on one opportunity after the other. I want you to understand the side effect of greatness is being willing to fail. Failing is not the problem, quitting is the problem. Until we quit and give up and stop dreaming and let our light be so dim, that's when we lost. It doesn't matter, you wanna go from failure to failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. And you'll do that when you have a significant, I mean significant vision of the future. So take the time, your life deserves it, you deserve it, and write out exactly how you wanna live. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it. So if your mind is sitting there thinking, how am I gonna do it, stay tight and stay really focused on what I'm showing you. The price is easy if you make an irrevocable committed decision. An irrevocable committed decision is this is what I'm gonna, this is how I'm gonna live no matter what. I don't know how it's gonna happen, I don't know when it's gonna happen, but this is what I'm doing. Unless it's a committed decision, the decision is weak. And a weak decision is gonna create weak results. Trust me. If I can do it, you could do it. If one person can do it, anybody can do it. Count on your ability to design your future. Now, if we're gonna design our future, we have to understand and know what do I really want? What do you want more than anything else in this world? And you may not know that right now. Maybe it is a life of freedom. You're here right now because the freedom is in your birthright and I wanna show you how to create it, but we have to know what do you really want? And I wanna, I wanna take it one step further. What do you want more than anything else in this world? What do you really want? What experiences would you like to have? Let's think about that. What experiences would you like to have? What changes would you like to make? Why are your goals important to you? Do you have goals? And what kind of person, this is such an important question, what kind of person do I need to become to achieve all that I want. What I wanna show you is so important to understand. Now, the top half of this circle is your conscious mind. The bottom half is your subconscious mind, and the little circle is your body. 
Our wants come from the essence of who we are. You remember when I told you you were infinite? Well, your wants come from the essence of who you are. And that want is communicated to your conscious mind to say, hey, you've been asking for this. I'm giving you an idea. And your job is to hold that idea with your imagination. You accept that idea. See, most people, I'm telling you, 97 out of 100 people will reject it right away because they're not aware how it works. But as soon as you get that, I want you to accept it. What do I want? I don't need you to know how. I just right now at this point need you to understand. Our wants start from our subconscious mind. They travel to our conscious mind and they're telling us, hey, hold on to this idea. And our job is to accept that idea. When we accept that idea, we give it back to the subconscious mind through repetition. And now our wants are in harmony and it turns into a desire. Once it's a desire, it's game over. You're going to create exactly what that want is. But I'm telling you, most people will reject it a week later. Even if they accept it a day, you've got to build that want it's like a garden and you're the gardener. You have to seed that idea. This is a spiritual seed that I'm talking about. And when you do it with the repetition, you're going to turn that want into a desire. The desire will alter your vibration. Your vibration will start dictating not just what you attract to you, but your action steps are going to change. You're going to start being more bold. You're going to start doing things in harmony with what that want is. And then your conditions, circumstances, and environment change. And that's what we call a result. Now, I'll go deeper in this so you understand it clearly. Now, build your vision. Write out exactly how you want to live. Write it out in the present tense and allow yourself to go deep with this. I want you to really write it out because this is what you're starting to create right now. Build your vision. Now, the next step is we've got step one down. Step two, it's time to bulletproof security with your elevated identity. Now, this is the fun part. This is going to be about you and expanding the concept of yourself. If you want to know the concept of yourself right now, all you have to do is be aware of the results in your life. And the results will tell you where you're at. See, our self-identity is a direct reflection of what we draw into our life. We can never outperform our identity, and, but we can change it. So I want us now to work on understanding you. Now, to understand you, you have to understand this is where you are right now. And how you want to live, a living a life of freedom, is on a frequency much higher. And it is your birthright to create this, or else we wouldn't be here together. And, but you have a brick wall in front of you. That brick wall is your paradigm. To change your concept, you have to have a reason to change your concept. So this is why I've already introduced you to how important your want is. And how do we knock down that brick wall is with a decision. When you make an irrevocable committed decision, I am changing, this is how I'm gonna live, my family and I are gonna create a life of freedom, well, what happens when you make the decision, you knock the wall down, and now you have a clear space to get to your goal. But without a decision, and if it's a weak decision, the wall's not gonna be knocked down. I want you to get so comfortable with these words, irrevocable committed decision. Now, let's get back to identity and image. There's, the words are synonymous. Uh, today's self-image creates my future results. So if I look at my image today, that's what's gonna create my results the next three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. But every day as I raise my image, my results are gonna change. As I raise it, my results change. This is so important to understand. Now, self-image is an inside game. If you wanna wonder what's going on on the outside, why is this happening, it's just a reflection on the dominating image that's going on inside of you. When you change the image on the inside, you're gonna be rewarded by the change on the outside. I want to really get you to connect to this. There is another version of you inside that could do 10 times better than what you're currently doing. You could live 10 times greater than what you're currently doing. Are you sitting there stagnant? Are, is your light dim? I want you to light it on fire. 
Because you know you're here. There's a spark right now inside of you that says, I know there's more that I can do. I know I can do more. Well, I want you to understand you're not just, not can you do more, you are gonna do more. That's why we're here together. Now, our job is to bring out that person. Our job is to draw that other person from the inside to the outside. That is our job is to bring it out. Well, how do we bring it out? We have to bet on ourselves. We have to have courage and we have to start working with a bigger idea of ourselves. But to understand ourselves, we have to understand who am I? Who really am I? See, your spiritual DNA is absolutely perfect. It requires no modification or improvement. It is all knowing. That means you have access to all the knowledge in the world. I'm not giving you knowledge that was just made up. I mean, this knowledge has been passed down hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And it is all powerful. You have access to all the power in the world. That's why if you've ever heard the stories, we hear it all the time. There's a woman who's 110, 120 pounds, will lift up a car because her child is under the car. Well, how do they do it? Because you have access to all the power in the world when you need it. It is ever present, it is everywhere. Wherever you're watching this in the world, you have the same access that I do. And it is the real you.